Hey guys, last night my daughter parked her truck yesterday and they sat out there and they potted plants and potted plants for hours and they left the radio playing. They didn't want to admit it. But having this little item made a hell of a difference. I'm going to put a link down below for you to go look, check it out. I've had, I got another one of these it's from Harbor. I have one of these from Harbor Freight. Yeah, right. You knew that. You knew that, right? Harbor Freight guy. But this one here was a gift for her, and it was charged months ago, quite a few, a January maybe, and this is now May, and it was still fully powered, shockingly. My Harbor Freight didn't do that, my whatever brand I got. I don't know what the hell I call it. This one's different, though, and I'm going to show you more about it in this video. I recorded a video last night, and I figured I probably didn't explain it very well because I was stressed out of having to go use it. So, below the video is a link to this one. It, it worked better than the other one I got, and it was, it's actually cheaper. Um, I ain't going to say that in front of my kid, but that's the truth. She got a better one. But, if your kids go somewhere, anywhere, make sure something like this is under the seat, ready to be used. Okay? And, let's go with that. I'll show you the video from last night. All right. Hey guys, a little bit dark in the video, and there's probably a good reason for it. It just got dark, and my daughter comes out here and goes, truck won't start. And it's my spare truck. It does sit quite a bit, and as you can see up in here, that little LED has just got like Hummer voltage in it. So one of the things that I bought her to carry with her, she doesn't quite know how to use. So we're going to do a little video, huh, Kira? on how to use this item so now you can look up here and see quite dim <laughs> and i'll show you here here's it i turn the switch watch so trucks deader than hell well here let me turn this torch on there we go. All right. So we'll get up here in this old Chevrolet. This is no 90 model Chevrolet. Dead. Okay. So lucky me. I got one of these because I'm a battery guy. One of these little things right here. Okay. Now, Kara. I think she left the radio playing. Did you leave the radio playing while you were out here working, Kira? I, I, I had it playing. Yeah, I did. Okay. So, now, I have charged this up back in the winter time. So, it better be good. This is made by, I don't know, Top Don, I guess or sold by and it is a jump surge js 1200 jump starter i've seen a lot of these around a whole bunch of them it kind of pretty simple to use from what i'm gathering i've never had to use one before but somebody um apparently has to now yeah. somebody here somebody who don't like the fact that she did what Left the radio on. <laughs> okay, so. Sorry about that. When she does things like that, and your teenager does things like that, they really do. Um, or you do. We went fishing and left one on, so I understand. Um, you're going to want one of these. So They're not that expensive. And the other thing about them is they have a lot of cool features in them. I've been looking this thing over. This one here, the way that these work is they have a much higher voltage than your battery would be. So say your battery is 12.8 volts. This starts out about 16 or 18 volts. And no, it ain't going to hurt nothing because it's going to push into the battery. Higher volts will try to balance themselves. So if this is at 8 or 9 volts, which is probably about right because that thing is just non-functional it's just barely dim it'll shut off at about nine so it's just barely above nine volts 
as this pulls volts in, this one here will lose its volts and they'll kind of balance out. The process of it is it's giving it amps. And this one here is 10 amps. So 10,000 milliamp hour equals 10 amps. It's charged with 3.7 volt charger or five volt, I guess you call it charger. However, the output is 16.8 volts at 10 amps. So it has a buck boost in it that allows just a regular sub C like this to charge it up. You can charge it from your car from, you can charge it from your car, your neighbor's car, your house, whatever. And from what I understand, I read the paperwork on it a long time ago. It could probably sit like this, not used for six, eight months, um, which is pretty cool. But me personally, I have used it a few times for running little 12 volt things. See that little jack right there? So that is your standard 5.5 uh, 12 volt center of positive. And I've done that and it works good. Actually, I think it ran a little color TV, a uh, uh, nine, inch, nine inch LCD TV for like four days out camping. So, all right, it didn't even die for that. So it's not 16 on that, it's 12, 12.85 or something. All right, so from what I'm understanding, this is a dead truck and this step is pretty simple. So we're going to, I'm gonna let her hold this Hold my $17.74 phone, because I'm a cheapskate. And then right in here, see it has USB power out that you can use. And it is directional, so you're not gonna screw up. And it has a tiny little cylinder lead that is a trigger from this boost button on the side. The boost button will basically use a capacitance boost going into your battery, okay? And it's not live. As I'm doing, oh, I just hit the power button. See, that? oh, look at it. It's 100%. It's been 100% for a long time. All right, so I did not expect that. I'll turn it back off. I think you got to, oh, that's a light. Wow, that's bright. All right. And I guess, well, no, it must be because I plugged it in. I'm guessing that's what it is. All right, so we're going to use a standard process here of hooking on to positive first and get a good and that's dad's lugs I put in there so don't laugh and then we're going to go to negative we're going to make sure we've kind of put our hand over the battery right there so no bent gases or nothing and it being a pretty dead battery there kind of shouldn't be any all right so the green light is supposed to come on and I think stay on and then it'll start doing its thing Okay, and since this is fairly dead, I'm going to trigger the boost. Wow, look at that. And I've got to wait about 30 seconds, and then we'll fire it. I heard a bunch of clicking inside, so you stay here, Kara. You can tell them what you did. Hello? Uh -huh. Anything No. Almost. Yeah. Wow. That's a lot of power going in. I was outside working and I left the radio on. I came inside and forgot it. All Full right. story right there. Right. Accidents happen, Dad. I know they do. So, ooh, that's a lot of juice hitting that. You see that? Y'all yeah, be yeah. careful. These things are putting out a hell of a lot of power. All right, so... I'm kind of liking that. Jump Surge, JS1200 Jump Starter. Um, now, I could go get my Ford, but right now my Ford is um, got a U-joint out of it, so it's not moving, and we're going to just give this thing. I, I supposed to gave it 30 seconds. I don't think I did that, did I? So um, no. we're going to give it time for its voltage to equalize while she's looking at this we might speed the camera up when i do edit on it but while she's doing that she can tell you um that this hasn't happened to her much right it happens a lot yeah uh -huh. i'll get to build my multimeter all right so there we go all right, now with the multimeter out here and 
See, after I tried to start it, it had to be reset. So let's see what we're working with here in power. What's this thing? Two volts. No, <laughs> it's going to be more than two. Some feature, I'm going to show you a feature on this that I did not expect to see, which is kind of cool. So now it's back up to 1184. She's draining her down pretty hard. Whoop. And that's probably why, huh? Okay. All right, so we'll give it another start shot and see what happens here. We've been about, there we go. Oh, hell. See, the light's fully on now. It's got plenty of power. I guess I'm going to have to put it over here because I ain't getting no grip around this battery. Once you remove it from that, you got to hit the button again. See, the light got brighter. All right, now we'll wait for a few and then we're going to fire this up. Started with 8.2 volts, Kira. operate this silly thing? Yep. You gonna keep it in your truck now? Always. Alright, All right, always keep your lamps away from each other. It didn't get warm or hot or nothing. That's pretty cool. Yep, get all your wires out of there. Alright, guys. This one here came with a little pack, a little box. I think we're charged up now. She's got a good alternator in her. She just don't have a good driver sometimes. So, let's see here. Whoo, yeah, we're charging hard. We're pulling 15, 16 volts. But this truck does not like to start very easy. It's old. It's got 135,000 miles on it for a 90 model. It's not, not terrible. But, look at that finally coming down we can give it a little rev rev a good oil pressure though 35 45 pounds and a little chevrolet bounce in there how you like that the gauges suck so not too shabby i think we're doing better than we thought we was going to be doing all right guys i'm going to give that a thumbs up i'll put a link to it below the video and y'all check it out Old truck.